Today needs to be a CCF day. I need to get some CCF. I need to get a lot of it. So, what are we going to do here? I feel like we need to try out Gene with and without her obelisk. And I know, like, I know obviously she's like, I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's try both here. Spend the 600 crystals and just pull it off. Hopefully it's not a mistake. So, what I want to do now is I want to determine something. Jean, and I will just throw in two characters that aren't going to support her. And, uh, striker-wise, we're going to throw in... Uh, I want like some just plain strikers that aren't going to help too much. Let's just do ones that just boost the super villain damage. We'll use the same team on both. So we'll use this real basic team here. And we're going to do a comparison between her obelisk and a CTP of authority. <coughs> we'll see the difference. And I'm going to run this twice. And yeah, I just want to see how much of a difference it makes. So yeah, we'll go 405 for the proc. And the authority doesn't have a proc, so I just don't know which one is going to be best to put on. There's the proc there. This is 50. I'm going to try to get him down to his first scream. It's right around the 12 bar mark. We already discussed that with her uniform, she is not as effective as without her uniform. But I expected a little bit more on a stage 50 here. Now, obviously, she's not tier 3 yet, uh, so I'm sure she'll do much better. And she also doesn't have the proper support nor the proper team with her. She's kind of soloing it. So, maybe we should try this on 40. That's actually kind of painful. Feels like it's pretty easy to consistently proc on her five, which I do like. But I don't know how much of a difference that proc's making. Man, this is taking forever. Screwed up the proc rotation. See if we can't get back to it. Yay! If I didn't know any better, I would say I know what I'm doing. Nope, already screwed it up again. Ooh, proc on the three. It's not a bad one to proc on. I 
All right, so we are, uh, huh. Nah, yeah, okay, so we just got to 13 bars of the minute and 40 seconds left. Let's, uh, let's go to the try again, try the same team, but actually do it down on 40, see if that, that, that should make a difference. Not a lot of people can do it on 50 anyway, so. Yeah, let's try this again on 40. And then we'll switch out the obelisk for the CTPA and see if that makes any sort of a difference. We will try the CTPA against the 50, but I want to obviously try the 40 first. Alright, this time I'm not going to use the team fight ability, I'm just going to go and use her skills. Try to rotate these properly, and hopefully keep proccing like that on the five. We're down to the 14 mark a lot faster than last time, obviously. Maybe I've been interrupting her three too soon. I don't know. Well, he's interrupting it too sometimes. All right, so we're at the 12 mark, 3.30, okay? 3.30 with the obelisk. So let's try this again with the authority. So 3.30 with the obelisk. This is what my jeans got on her right now. This is the old go-to 200% damage proc with fire damage and guard break immunity. <sighs> The crystals, but we're going to do it. We are going to do it. Uh, just do it. Oh, now where is that at? Because we're going to save that, probably put that on a uh, human torch or something. But yeah, we're going to save that one. All right, so remember, 330. So there's this one, and this one's 31%. These are very, very close. Let me try to change that option, see if we can't get that a little bit higher, because I do want to save one of these. Let's see, mine damage, fire and mine damage. Okay, we'll go ahead and use that one. Give me something higher. 37, wow. That's not too shabby. So we'll go ahead and use that 37 one, or maybe we'll save that one for Doctor Strange. Now let's go ahead and use it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and equip this. Yes, yes, yes. It's an authority, it's equip. All right, yes, so. Gene now has a CTP of authority, guard break immunity, critical damage 37.1%, accumulate 100% to damage, blah, 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 blah. Let's see how we do now. Let's see what sort of a difference that makes. Same thing, stage 40, same team. Let's see what sort of a difference it makes. If any. Remember, 330 to get down the 12 bars. <coughs> Now we don't have to worry about proccing, so it really doesn't matter the rotation we use. But, yeah. Since that fire damage wasn't really doing anything for me, it would only actually work technically if I had a... Uh, yeah, if I had some sort of fire skills, which I don't with the uniform anymore.
All right, we're past the 330 mark and we're a bar behind. Thirty seconds passed and still not there yet. Okay, we're basically there uh, to the point when he's screaming. Looks like it's taking, obviously, a lot longer, which was sort of expected without the proc. So if you're thinking of taking off a proc one, at least with the fire damage for an authority, this is one route to go. Now, I did debate putting a destruction on her instead, but I think I want the authority there so that we can utilize her in timeline. Speaking of which, let's see how she does in timeline really quick before I get back to some world boss ultimate. So here's Timeline, and my team that I'm currently using is Jean with Thor and Thanos. Now Thanos and Thor are of course both tier 3 characters. Jean is not yet, not until I realize all of her potential, but I am kind of curious to see what she can do in Timeline uh, with the Authority and see if it actually helps with her survivability here. And as we all know, the CTP of Energy is more your PvE. CTP and the destruction is your both timeline and uh, PVE and the authority is mostly a PVP oriented one so she's taking on a tier 3 Thanos here let's see how this goes not too shabby Captain America again not shabby and Captain Marvel Tier 3 Captain Marvel, too. <laughs> Let's see a couple more of those. Uh, I think the authority's working. Again, a CTP of destruction probably would not be a bad idea for the proccing sake, but she's she's a little difficult to kill now. She's kind of difficult to kill before, but I think that's kind of helping. It's going up against a doom. She's not doing anything. She's standing there. Oh, she died once. That's not good. She'll get back up. Usually she comes back with a pretty hefty vengeance here. Which she did. Doom's gonna come back now because, you know, he's got a second life as well. <sighs> Looks like he missed her first couple of moves. Ooh, that's not good. Come on, an egg and heal. Now there's Captain Marvel. Nah, Captain Marvel got her. That's a shame. Come on, pop your five. That's the only way. Okay. <clears throat> I didn't help, I swear. Alright, so, round two. Round two, not, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Just use your five. I wish he would focus that five. His damage immunity really does go a long way. So, anyway. Nice, Thanos. Alright, we got a Deadpool we're taking on now. It's actually not a bad choice. I like Thor, though, we're getting usually one shot, folks. So. As long as he pops off his five. Nice. Ooh. 
Ooh, -hoo -hoo. nice. Ouch. It's all right. Here comes. Here she comes back. Since she was able to take out both lives on the last gene. Come on, take out Deadpool. You know you can do it. You know you can do it. Oh, come on, Gene. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Don't fall for it. Don't fall. Oh, damn. It's all right. Deadpool is a beast. We know he is. Ooh, he actually used his five that time. Thank you, Thor. Ooh, Thanos is so brutal. All right. Two tier three Thanoses. Who's going to win? Survive it with your invincibility. Thank you. Now return the favor. Ha! <laughs> We're going to go back and forth a few times until one of them gets their tier three ability. And whoever gets their tier three ability first, which is probably going to be them, is probably going to win this fight. Oh, there it is. That's game. Yeah. Like I said, whoever got the tier 3 ability first was going to win that fight. I knew that would be the case, too. Did it freeze? Nope. I'm actually going to switch up my team a little bit, though. I do like Thor. I like to use Thor a lot, actually. But I'm going to go ahead and throw in Doctor Strange. I'm going to have him be last up on the list. Just because I like Doctor Strange so much. We'll go ahead and throw him in there. Oh, wow. I'm sure, you took out the other gene. Ooh. Nice. Survive it, Gene. Come on, use your healing, use your healing. Yes. All right. Damn. Tier 2 Thanos against uh, Tier 3. Yeah, not much contest there. Now, like I said, I don't, I don't think the Authority is too bad of a choice. Uh, she wasn't my main go-to world boss killer for Ebony Maul. It does kind of suck that it is taking her a little bit longer, but I think she could still do it with the proper team. It's just not as easy as she could at one time. Old uniform versus... or no uniform versus her uniform. Ouch. Good, 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 good. Good, all right. Captain Marvel. Ooh, and an Adam Warlock. Damn. The fuck was that? Here he comes. Woohoo! All right. Okay, so let's head on back to Ebony Mall there and give her a proper team and uh, see how that goes. I'm not going to spend any 600 crystals to pull it off, put the destruction on in its place. I just don't want to do it. It's a lot of crystal spending just to experiment. All right, so we'll throw y'all on again. No help there, but we'll at least give you a proper striker team. I 
Now the reason I uh, want to leave those two on is I need to realize their potential too. So Gene should still be able to do this on 40. Proper strikers do help, and of course we use the team fight now. Not that I think that's going to go too far, but we'll see. I was debating trying it on 50 again, but seeing what happened on 40 uh, with it being so much less, like almost a full minute less to get the same phase, I feel like maybe, maybe I don't want to. Oh, wow. Just changing out the strikers alone. Look at how much of a difference this makes. Could you imagine if I gave her a proper lead and support? <coughs> we'll look at her stats after this. <coughs> oh, wow. Already down in this phase. 40 seconds faster this time just by changing up the strikers that's that's phenomenal I like that yeah she's gonna have no problem doing this and carrying the other two through to realize her potential Yeah, she, 10 bars now at the uh, stage. Actually, I didn't need to use anti-venom because she has so much sustain and heal. And with this authority, it makes it even harder to kill her. But yeah, down the 10 bars at 330. That's, that's not too shabby. don't know if I'm going to have time to beat it or not. I don't know. We're going to have to see. I believe in Eugene Phoenix Marvel Girl. Many names throughout the years. Oh, he's mad. He's angry. I don't care. I feel like my school uh, cooldown is not maxed out. Can't tell. Seven bars, minute and a half. Well, a little over a minute and a half. I missed two minutes. Now a minute and a half, five bars. Oh, he interrupted my five. How rude. You know, if he does do his ultimate move, I'm almost tempted to let him do it and to see if my character can survive it or not. Yeah. Let's see if she can survive it. I'm just kind of curious. Nope. All good. 
Because she raises herself from the dead. I was just kind of curious. Forty seconds. Twenty seconds. Oh, come on! Damn it! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Okay, 10 seconds left. Barely, but again, this is with no lead or support. Strikers only. And like I promised. Ooh! Got one potential realized. Too bad I didn't get more. Ooh, I've got 13 CCF. Okay. Let me uh, make a note of that. We're, we're counting our CCF and our alliance. Alright, anyway. So, 13 CCF. Cool. So let us... Yep, challenges. Good times. Good times. Let's take a look at how I have her built currently. So, obviously everything's on 20. I've got myself some double energy, double crit with an ignore defense. Got that replicated on this gear. This one is the same thing, but I have crit rate instead of crit damage, and that's replicated down here. I do have some of them amplified. All of her skills I've got maxed out. Her ISO set is overdrive. That is not maxed out. And of course I have that CTP of authority that I just put on there. I'll probably leave that on her. Like I said, I don't want to spend her 600 crystals. The only other one that I would consider putting on her that I think might actually be worthwhile is uh, that CTP of destruction. That might be worth doing just so she can have her proc again with her guard break. But I don't know. I don't know if that's... I don't think that's worth spending our 600 crystals on. So she does have this activation when her health is below 40. So she accumulates 100% of true damage regardless of defense and dodge stats. The total true damage accumulated cannot exceed 10% of hit points. I don't know. Critical damage, guard break, community, and this true damage, so. She is cool. Right. 